to my playhouse. And uh, today, right here behind me, I got some brand new servers. Actually, there is like four of them. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna unbox at least one of them. Uh, and there are HP servers. They are uh, model DL380, generation 8. And these are VMware host servers. Uh, they are configured with half a terabyte of RAM. So let's open the box and see how this looks. And I prepared a knife. These are the rails for the railing system to mount the server in the racks. I'm gonna put those aside. These are the, the cable handling for the behind of the rails. And it comes with three power plugs. We have a company to, uh, that takes the server apart and prepares it for us so we don't have to do as much assembly. And they leave the bag of different stuff that comes with the server. So I'm probably going to need some of this. And here is the brand new server. As this is a VMware server, we don't need any hard drives in it. It's gonna be booting from a US, from a, actually from an SD card inside of the server. And we'll see that when we get into it. As always, there is always some good, some good stuff on the back of the lid to the server here and if you have some kind of problem or you have to install some kind of device in, in the server it's always a good thing to look at the lid to see if there's an explanation on how that works. So this is inside the server. a fair amount of RAM in this server because it's gonna be used for virtualization. Let's just check out one block and see how big they are. It's a 32 gigabyte memory block that's a biggie. card down here somewhere. There it is. There is the SD card that the, the server is going to boot on. And otherwise there's, there's a couple of network cards. These ones are for the, are for the SAN. These are HPAs for SAN connection, and there are two of those, and they're 8 gigabit. And then there's two ports here, and those are 10 gigabit uh, network cards. And 
there are two 10 gigabit network cards down here as well. There are two power supplies, really, which makes it really weird why there were three cords in that package. Otherwise, there are, there are two processors in this server. Each of them is some very powerful Xeon processors from Intel. I think these are 3.3 or 3.5 gigahertz. Very powerful processors. And the fan is hot, hot pluggable. And all the disk array over here, we are not we're not even using that. And we didn't even bother getting it with a CD drive. It's just it's as little server as absolutely possible. On the front of the server, there is the VGA port there for connecting a monitor. There is no CD drive. There is handle to get it out of the rack. The room for eight two and a half inches drives. And there is the control panel that shows you what's what's working and what's not working. The server has room for 24 memory DIMMs. There's a USB port here. And there's a card here with the serial number and so on. There's the power button right there. And two light diodes that show the server how it's doing. And then the UID, the identity, that will blink, uh, I think it's blue, on the front and on the back of the server. And there's another USB right there. Let's see on the back of the server. On the back there is two network cards right there and those are 10 gigabit network. There's a serial port which is almost never used. We have two more 10 gigabit network cards on the PS, PSI slots down here. And there was the HBA adapter for connecting to the SAN. Here is the ILO adapter for connecting to the remote management system on the server. We have another HBA adapter there for redundancy to have two HBA adapters, two connections to the SAN on two different PCI ports, slots, so maximum redundancy. Uh, we have the monitor cable or plug on the back. We have four USB ports. We have the UID on the back. The blue thing you can press and it will turn blue on the front. And we have two power supplies. Let's see these. These are... What are they? They are 460 watt power supplies. And they're very tiny. They're very small. Very nice. So, we have four of these servers that are going to be installed here in this data center. And those four servers are going to be replacing these four servers. On, and these are IBM 3850X5 servers. And they have the same amount of memory than the ones in the boxes over there. But these are four processor servers and we are exchanging them with two CPU servers, so, but with a higher clock frequency. Even though these servers only have two CPUs, uh, with eight or six cores, I can't remember if it's eight or six, uh, I would expect a performance improvement on the virtual machines that are going to be running on this system, because every core they get is a much faster one probably twice as fast 
as on the 2 gigahertz IBM servers over there. So yeah, that was a quick run through this server. I hope you enjoyed that uh, and would be interested in getting your own server or doing something with servers. It's great hardware. When this is running, it just keeps running forever. Always. Thank you for watching my videos, do subscribe to my channel so that you can see more server videos along the way. Have a nice day, bye bye.